Hey everybody, welcome back to Wet the Face. Glad you're here. And uh, we have a new release today. Uh, watermelon and strawberries. That's what we have for the end of the summer. And um, I really like it. It smells great. Mmm. Watermelon and strawberries. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, um, we're going to be using that. We're also going to be using the aftershave as well. And we're going to do a bowl lather and bring it to the face and talk about the results. So, uh, stay tuned. Don't go away. Okay, so here's the bowl. You can see it's empty. And here's the soap in question. And let's just open it up here. And you know that uh, this is a not a hard uh, soap at all. You can place it right into the bowl with no problems at all. And that's what we're going to do here. And... Um, we're going to be also using the uh, Occam's razor, and if I reach back here, I can get the wet the face, wet the face brush uh, that uh, Alfred has made for us, and um, we're going to be doing that right now. So let me put the soap in the bowl. Okay, so you can see the soap is in the bowl, and here's the brush. Let me just put some warm water on it. And I'm just going to empty the contents of the brush in the bowl and start the lather. So here we go. If I need to order, um, add more, I will. Right away, suds looking good. We have that uh, fragrance of strawberries and watermelons coming out. Yeah, we're starting to get to that point. Yeah, I think we are. We're at that. We're at that level. Let's just get it all out there. There you go. So let's bring this to the face and do the shave. Okay, so I've had about um, six to seven days growth, so let me wet the face. Okay, here's the brush with the soap on it, so let's go and apply it. Very creamy, as you can see. Okay, there you have it. And there you go. Let's take the Occam's razor, wet a little bit, and let's start. I'll start at the bottom this time. Very nice. Yep. Oh yeah. So it looks like the last event that I have to go to is August 22nd. That seems to be the last one. Yeah. 
And since you don't get baptized twice, there will be no repeat of it next year. <laughs> there was a lot of them. There was four bat baptisms this year that I had to go to. I've been watching this Netflix show called Heist. It's a documentary and it has uh, three different or four different types of um, heists that happen, which are pretty famous. And the one that really got me was uh, Pappy Van Winkle heist. Now you might've heard of this. It is a bourbon and a Pappy Van Winkle right now a bottle of that goes for like five thousand, three thousand dollars. And before all this craziness, it went for about fifty bucks. But uh, there was a group of guys that worked in the bourbon factories, and all the bourbon factories are pretty much in Kentucky, and they, uh, and they all cons conspired to steal bourbon from their places. And there was this one man who was the guy who sold it all. And uh, he was the guy who, who had to go to jail. But he didn't really go to jail for that long. Although his sentence was quite long, he got, he got um, his sentence reduced. Millions of dollars were made. And for the longest time they couldn't find who these people were. And the person who ratted them out is still unknown. They even arrested the, the wife of the, of the guy that was doing this, selling all the stuff, and she got off too. Very interesting story. It's almost like folklore now in Kentucky. But if you do Google Pappy Van Winkle bourbon, you will see the prices of it. It is insane. Um, the famous chef who committed suicide, um, I can't remember his name, Bordeaux, I wish I remembered his name, but, um, he, uh, he once said that it was like the best bourbon he ever had, and that was before all this craziness. Okay, so, wonderful shave, extremely close, great thickness, great glide. If you know my soaps, you know they work very well. I'm going to uh, open this, crack this open, I'm just going to give it a little shake right now. And crack it open, there it goes, and I'll put a little on my hand and work it in. Mmm. 
Nice. Strawberry watermelon. <laughs> well, I had a wonderful shave. And this is available right now. So, um, I wish everyone uh, a happy summer. It's almost over, unfortunately. When my birthday comes around and it's August 6th, uh, usually that's the end of summer. <laughs> For It's my, it's my uh, ringing of the bell that summer is almost over. So uh, I hope everybody enjoys their summer. I hope everybody had a great summer. And I'll see you next time.